Alright, hey guys, Mr. Timo Man here, and welcome back to another uh, video. Today I'll be showing you how to install a SSD or a solid state drive into a X51 right here. I just added Velcro because I've already installed my SSD, but I'll show you guys how to install your own SSD into the X51. Now, here are all the parts you're going to need. You're going to need three, the, these three cords and an SSD of course and your X51 that's also good if you have a magnetic screwdriver so you don't lose any of your screws now there is a piece that online that I'll link in the description that are these two pieces combined but I will also link these two separate pieces in the description also as long as well as the SATA and the SSD so the first piece you want to get is a uh, Molex power cable, four pin, a male to two females, as you can see right there. There's two, two females and a male. And then this power cable right here, you want a SATA, a SATA power cable with a four pin Molex male at the other end. And then here you want about an 8 inch uh, 6 gigabyte per second SATA cable. My store did not carry a 8 inch so I just had to get a foot and a half. And then right here I have my 128 gig SSD for my um, OS to run off of. Um, the Windows 7 runs at about takes about 30 seconds or less to get started up and Windows 8 takes I believe I haven't had Windows 8 but I think it starts around 8 seconds so that you can obviously see a difference there now we're gonna move all these items out of the way and then again I'll have all these items in the description alright so we have our X51 right here as you can see, the head rotates too. Let me flip this around real quick. Alright, so here it is. Um, now, to get started, you want to take out the screw right here. So I'll go ahead and do that. set it back down, set the screws where you will not lose them, alright, so that, let's just flip around our X51 right here, now we just slide this piece right here, there's a, like a little lip here so you can tell, just kind of push it over like that, and then gently lift it up, and there you go, you got the inside of the X51, but do not pull it really hard, do not yank it out, you got this cord right here, um, just kind of pull it off. Um, it will take some force. There you go. Get that cord taken off. Let's look at it. That's for the LED lighting on the side right here. I'm right, just going to set this over here. Now we got our whole case right here. We got this cord that came from the LED lighting. And as you can see here, I already have the Velcro strips for the SSD already in. Um, so also you want to get Velcro while you're doing this. So you can do this or have something that will stick, have it stick to the CD area. Now just, there's this cord right here connecting to the CD drive. Just pull that right out. There you go, you got that. Um, grab your screwdriver again and then there's a screw right here not here but here and then just unscrew it and this will um, allow you to easily take off the CD drive you can also keep the CD drive out but I'm not sure where you would place the SSD um, so yeah, there you go, you got the CD drive, just set that also aside, 
Now we have our whole inside area right here. We have our full pin, four pin Molex cable. We have our uh, SATA, three SATA ports, and we have this cord right here. Now you want to take this part out right here. We have a screw here and here. Just take this off. It won't take off the fan. It'll just take off this little cover piece, and then you can see things a lot easier. There you go, you got these four pieces out, two pieces, just lift it up, slide it out, there you go, you got this piece out, slide, set that aside also, now you have your whole area, um, uh, open, so there's this four pin Molex cable, right here, you got this, just take it right out, it won't come out as easy as that, because I already had it unplugged, but you're, it might take you a while, don't do it really hard, but try to get your best, just wiggle it out and stuff. And you will just keep it there, you don't need to take it out or anything, just leave it there. Now what you want to do, is you want to take this piece right here, um, with the two females and the male. And you just want to take this female and plug it right into the board push on it to make sure it is inside the board just like that there you go um, I'll show you that up close so you have that right into the board that connected now next what you want to do is you want to take the male part and plug it in with the other Molex cable that was already on here that was um, previously connected to the board you just connect it like that so you can see there it's connected with that piece still intact and then you should have a another female left grab this other uh, power SATA and then just plug it right in just like that now you have all these cable wirings, as you can see right there. Now just kind of tuck it away, make sure it's not um, really in front of a fan or anything. Just try your best to keep it out of the way, because you also still need to fit your CD drive in here. So you just kind of fold this up a little bit in here. There you go, just keep that out right there. There you go, you got that power cable. Now you want to take your set of cable right here. You want to take one end and plug it in to this extra set of port, which is right next to the SATA number two. Um, it's right there, right here. Right there, that black little thing right there. Plug one end, doesn't matter which end, just into the um, board. And there you go. Um, just kind of get it all wired up and all that good stuff. So you have, you'll have your SATA there. And you'll have your power right there. Now next, what you want to do is you want to grab your CD drive again. And place it like this. Make sure all your cords are out of the way. Um, let me just get this cable management done right here. I'll have this stick out for now. So we can easily do stuff later. Alright, so it should just set right in. Um, we might have some cables in the way. But just move it around. Um, 
went just like that. Make sure if it if you can't if it's having trouble putting back in, um, just take it back out. Make sure all the cables again. Double check it, and you'll have these little side things that will put into an area and slide in, so it'll lock it in place. You know, take that um, smaller screw out of the three silver screws, the small one, and you'll screw the CD drive back in just like that and now what you want to do is you want to grab your SSD right here now you want to put um, step you might want to stack some velcro strips right here or find something to keep it in place I also have it that velcro right there or if you really wanted to, but I do not recommend it, you can put tape on it so it'll stay in place. So make sure these this end right here with all the plugs is right there. And just put it right in place, right there. Make sure this is not under the fin, this little area right here. So now your SSD is not really going anywhere, especially with the cord plugged in. So now you just want to plug in that SATA port. Just kind of move that out of the way. And now you want to kind of move this Molex cable right here out of the way. And plug it in, just like that. So you have both of these connected. Try to get it off of the board as much as possible and connect your uh, CD drive back into place just like this. So up close and personal, it should look all like that with your SATA connected to your SSD and the power connected to the SSD also. With this CD drive still plugged in, so you have the SSD, the terabyte hard drive, and the SSD all three connected so you still have your CD drive and everything so you have all that in place um, just kind of move that out of the way still now grab your fan thing right here grab this and just put it black back into play where it was before try to move all these cords around real quick and then just put it right back in place. Grab one of the two left silver screws, doesn't matter which one, should be both the same. Screw it back in, just like this, right there. And then grab the second screw. Screw it in. There, there you go. It's not going anywhere. Make sure your SATA and power connectors are plugged in. They don't move much at all. Now, you should all be good to go. You have uh, this SSD here. So now, um, just put your case head piece thingy majig right back on plug this piece in remember the blue is should be visible this little um blue dot on that you can see it right there just make sure it is still visible when you plug it in there you go just kind of tuck the cord back in it's in there nice and tight, make sure it's not in the way. Set it back on there. And just slide it back into place. And I might have a cord in the way. So let's redo this real quick. that back in place and take
take your um, black screw right here that, and screw it into the back of the X51. There you go. Your X51 has successfully installed an SSD. And I'll show you the boot time right here. Um, this is Windows 7. Um, starting Windows. And then when that disappears, we'll move on to this monitor. And it'll load. See Mr. Timo Man 3 right there. Um, you got Alienware, Windows 7 Home Premium. Just type in your password. Hit welcome. And go ahead and launch Minecraft or something. Launch it right here. It might still take a moment because you're just now starting the computer. But as you can see down here, um, Steam and Origin have already started. Got Minecraft launching. Go ahead and start playing. There you go. Um, just let it load. There you go, you got Minecraft right there. Alright guys, well that's how you uh, um, install an SSD, do all that good stuff, and that's the boot up time right there. And yeah, thanks guys for watching and uh, have a nice day.